Hello everybody and welcome to the Flumpy Squid's first ever computer build. Uh, where today we are going to be building a computer for my brother who so graciously gave me the money to buy him uh, some parts. And now I'm not saying I am an expert computer builder, far from it. Uh, there's a lot better people out there, uh, but this is just something to fill up the time. I have nothing planned for Wednesday. Um, I don't really have anything of interest. I could have done Dawn of War 0K, but I just, I don't know. I have to do this anyways, and uh, I'm going to be playing uh, with my friend Eric on Halo later, so you guys can all view that um, sometime in the future on a Saturday. Um, but for now, we will be building this computer, and I'm first going to go through the list of parts. Uh, we're going to open them, and then I will uh, start building, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, might be a time lapse, might be, um, you know, jump cuts, where I, maybe I talk to the camera and show you something. Uh, you can hear the vacuum right above me as it vacuums up stuff. And um, also, I will be eventually uh, be recording on the phone which is going to be balanced up against a wooden um, block on a cardboard box. So stay tuned for that. Um, but without further ado, let us start looking at these parts. Number one, which I will be blocking out right off the way because of obvious reasons, but this is the Windows key. So we can uh, install Windows onto the computer. Um, it's just a fresh, it's a fresh install, nothing new going on. Um, I will be blocking out the numbers. Sorry, folks. No free Windows uh, operating oper operating system keys today. So um, we'll be putting this in the pile, and I'll be carrying on. Next up for hard drive, well, or our solid, well, solid state drive, I guess we have an Evo Samsung one terabyte uh, SSD. Uh, and the only reason I'm choosing this is because the other variants, I don't know what they're called, with like MS3s or something like that. Um, they are uh, expensive, and this is a one terabyte SSD that I think we were able to get for only a hundred dollars, which is awesome. Uh, for one terabyte, that is more than enough uh, for someone who's, who's just doing video games, because that's pretty much what this computer is going to be built for. Uh, just computer games, it's not the best. I did what I could with the money that I had available and what parts were around, but I think, I don't know, I think it'll work out. Uh, fairly well in the end. Next we have a PCIe Gigabyte uh, just Wi-Fi or network adapter. This is just used for um, Ethernet, nothing too fancy with that. All it's going to be used for is for an Ethernet cable if uh, we're able to get one here in the future. Highly doubt it because we're just not, we don't have the space for cables running all over the place, but you never know. Ethernet cables are good and it will be, it's stupid not to have one uh, as an option. Next up, we have the AC1200 Wi Fi Bluetooth 4.2 Wi Fi adapter. Um, it apparently, it's dual band Wi Fi. I'm just reading off the back here. Um, on, it receives Wi-Fi signals on two separate bands for all your online needs. Oh, I guess that's neat, I guess. Probably better. I've only got a single band. I'm not sure you'll be able to see this. I'll just put a picture up on the screen here of what I've got. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Only difference between this and what I have is that this plugs into the back of the computer and it just stays there. I have a cable that runs all the way along the uh, back of my computer and, and I just place it. I magnet it to the top of the uh tower so that's the only difference um there was another one the one i have was the one i was going to get uh but they don't they don't have those anymore uh b and h or whoever was selling them do not have those in stock anymore and more than likely will not have them again all right now we're going to start moving on to the more fun items because everyone's here not for the wi-fi and all that but they're here for you know graphics cards and memory and all that fun stuff um, first thing we've got is memory, which is a 16 gigabyte Ripjaw uh, GX, I think that it is. Did I call it right? No, G Skill. At <laughs> the G Skill uh, memory um, memory sticks, uh, eight gigabytes each, um, 16 in total. I think that'll be the perfect amount for gaming. I have 32 purely for editing um, and like using software and stuff. And if you're just playing a couple games, I don't think 16 gigabytes. Um, is I think it might be overkill still. I think eight gigabyte. Well, ah, whatever. The more the more RAM you have, the better, right? That's that's kind of the general rule of thumb. But this is a good starter pack. It's a DDR4, so it's good for the motherboard that I'll be showing you next. And um, that's all I got to say about that. Here is the motherboard. It, it hopefully the lighting is better. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks so much better when I have the light facing it. 
Um, this is a Z390 Aorus Elite gaming motherboard. Uh, it's by Gigabyte. Uh, this is the same exact motherboard that I have in my own computer. Uh, I like it. Apparently it has RGB support. If I can uh, zoom in, there we go. Ooh, this way. It has RGB. I'm not sure if we'll focus there or not, but um, that's... I never use that, but, you know, if my brother wants to, you know, mess around with that, that's good. But uh, it supports Intel uh, processors, uh, which I will talk a little about, about later. Um, I just think it's a cool motherboard. It also has a, an eagle that glows on the inside, which, well, I'll show, well, we'll show you when it's all done, so... Next up is the processor. It's just an i7. Um, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, it can be over... It says i7 unlocked. I don't know what that means. Um, mine is a 9700K um, core... Or it's a Core i9 9700K or something like that. I have no clue. Um, but it's a good... It's a much better... Um, intel processor than this one but i think just for the purposes of gaming along with um like you know just general use i think this processor will be good enough i'm not a um uh, a hardware expert i just look at things and i'll research them for a little bit and um that's that's about all i'll do but this this should this should do well it should do well and coming up from the processor we have the nhd 15 this is a pretty much top of the line air cooler it's one of the best ones that you can possibly get um it is what i've got inside my um uh, my tower um cooling off my processor it does a great job keeps things cool and i think that it's a noctua okay a noctua nhd 15 that is the uh, full title uh, but it is a solid cooler i think you can only pick you can pick them up for like 80 dollars um, and for what it is, it is, it's great. The only problem is it is massive. Like it is like, it's, it's a huge, huge cooler. And actually when I show you the uh, tower, it'll, it'll pretty much touch the glass. Maybe I'll not touch the glass. There's about like a, like two inches of room, but still it is, it is massive compared to any cooler I've had uh, previously. Next up, we have the uh, GX850 Focus Gold or 80 plus gold Seasonic power supply. This is a fantastic power supply. It's by Seasonic and Seasonic's pretty great. Um, I have a 750 and originally I was thinking about just replacing my 750 with this 850 because my brother will not need it. Um, I actually can't overclock my computer because of power limitations. But uh, this was bought, you know, with his money, or whatever, and I'm just, I'm just building it. Uh, you know, I, I took the, I took the moral high ground on that one. I'll, I'll get my own uh, when the time comes. But um, this, this bad boy right here should keep him for quite some time, especially if he's just gaming. There's not really much else he'll, um, you know, need to be running while he's doing that. And second to last, the most, well, probably the better, best thing of all the, you know, components. We have ourselves a dual Asus uh, AMD Radeon, Radeon uh, 5600 XT. Um, this is a graphics card that I actually was not originally going to get. Originally, I was going to be getting, I can get it here, my brother one of these, the GeForce RTX Ventus XS. It's an MSI graphics card. It's great, it's a 2060, um, and it's what I've got currently running in my computer. What ended up happening, sorry, I keep looking at the monitor. Um, what happened though is for some reason, when I got this bad boy in the fall, it was only $421. Now, I, if I'll, I'll put a picture up, but um, the last I checked, it is $861, $781, something like that. It is, it is expensive. And I think it has to do something with Bitcoin, um, with the new graphics cards dropping out and everyone's selling these or buying them, I don't know. Um, my foot's falling asleep at this angle, so I gotta get this introduction done quickly. But um, but yeah, so this is this is just the graphics card. It is an AMD, and we will be putting it into an Intel uh, motherboard. I was told that there would be no issues. I haven't tested it yet, but I have. I did look it up and it said there should be no problems uh, using an AMD graphics card with a Intel motherboard. Uh, there might be some sp like certain specifications for certain. Uh, computers or co certain motherboards, but um, apparently this should work and I'm praying it does because otherwise my brother will be sad and I will be sadder because I will have chosen something that we cannot use. And last but not least, oh boy, oh, okay, Ooh, okay, fine, you can come out of the packaging. Um, this is a Fantex 
full tower. Oh boy, if I can lift it. It's a heavy boy. Um, it's a Fantex full tower case. Um, perfect for fitting all your needs, all your wants, all your hopes and dreams inside it. Um, it is a massive tower, but the good news is, oh, you can fit everything that you could possibly want inside. Um, introductions of parts and myself out of the way. Uh, you see how messy my room is? Just ignore that. Uh, don't look for any details. Just look at the flumpy squid there. Um, and we are going to be moving on to the unpackaging stage. All right, now that my head is cut off at about this point, I can't really tell, but um, we're going to start unpacking some of these. I'm not going to get um, everything unpacked, but I will get everything ready um, so that we can just start working on it. Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I have this magical, magical piece of cardboard, which I will be putting down right here. Um, oh, Jesus, I just moved the camera. All right, that might have changed the camera. I have no clue. I have to still adjust it. Um, but the cardboard is so you don't produce any static uh, shocks while you're um, well while you're building. Because uh, if you can do a static shock, especially on the motherboard, uh, you can completely fry everything and well ruin it. Uh, thankfully, the motherboard is the, uh, out of a couple of these items one of the cheaper parts. Although it still I think is in the two hundred range. Um, but I'm going to unbox this here. I guess I can blow the camera here. There, yeah, I'll unbox them like this. This looks like a good angle. And we'll just see what everything looks like on the inside. And hopefully the audio can catch up. I have my mouth or my um, mic angled the as best I can, so. All right, and there is the motherboard. Now, something that a lot of people, that well, me, myself included, I'm not saying that you should be rough with these, but uh, motherboards are a little bit more durable than people give them credit for. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate by hitting it with this hammer. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a hammer even nearby. I guess I have a, I guess I have a, a dumbbell, but I'm not gonna be using that. Um, but no, you can, you can put a little bit of pressure on these, so you don't have to really worry about um, breaking anything just make sure that you're not you're, you're handling it correctly and there's you know nothing you know too crazy going on alrighty next up will be the uh, i7 and um, along with because I thought actually I honestly thought the i7 was going to show up with some um, sort of um, like coolant like the, the the thermal paste um i do have some extra i have some mx4 which i actually think i got um with my new one and i have cooler master which i think came with um my my old computer which is over here in the computer or the, the corner that my parents will be getting here soon it's gonna be it's still a good computer it's just I, i've outgrown it but they'll it'll be perfect for them uh next up is the rip jaws or are the rip jaws so i think that's just easy open there we go Actually, I think I'll just keep these in their case until we actually are going to use them. Um, but there they are, looking really nice and spry. Um, and I can't wait to put them in. And we got the SSD next. And I guess uh, this is another thing I'll just uh, keep in the, the case until uh, we actually start using it. Uh, next, the PCIe, uh, the Ethernet adapter, essentially. Uh, this is another thing I'll just keep in the packaging uh, because we don't want it to get dirty. The motherboard, unlucky enough, is going to be the one who's going to uh, uh, be taking the brunt of the, the dust that's in my room right now. Here's some little directions and whatnot, which I'm not sure if it focuses properly or not. I have it on autofocus, but it might not be working as well as I would hope. Next up, the actual Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Oh, there we go. Oh, geez. That looks way nicer than what I've got. And here's the uh, the software installation for it. I know it's it's not it's not focusing as I would like it to, but uh, well, I'm not I'm not a ASMR HD uh, channel anyway. So this is just something one off that 
Hopefully I won't do again. All right, on to the more exciting stuff. We have the Sea Sonic. See, this is so much better than what I've got already. I don't even got hybrid or normal mode. I think at least. Maybe I do. Is this Chinese? Oh, this is the Chinese variant or the different um, languages. This is the English version. So I'll be taking that. Chinese version can go over there for now. Ooh, I'm crushing that. All right, now the power supplies. This is going to come in. Oh no, this one's going to come in here differently. Uh, this is a fully module power supply, so it has all the different cables that you can need in it. Uh, you can mix and match as your system requires. And this doohickey, which I I cannot tell you what it does, because I don't... Oh no, it does something, but I just can't tell you what it does, because I don't know. Here's the power cable, the all-important power cable. I do have extras, though, just in case something doesn't work out right. Now, this is something strange. My, my power supply came in a bag um, like this. Uh, currently, I'm using it for, I think, spare parts or whatever. But it came in a bag like this. Uh, this power supply to 850, a more expensive variant, is coming in a, just a, a simple um, wrap, which I am perfectly fine with. Um, I, I, I like the more simple design because otherwise you're paying for way more than what you should be. Like, um, I will show you in a moment, but up, up, up top, I have an i9, uh, the i9 case. It is ridiculous that it came in that. Just absolutely ridiculous that they would spend probably an extra hundred dollars in manufacturing uh, and cost it to me to build that. It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but it is um, ridiculous. God, this thing looks so cool. Ah, it's cool. I, I like building computers. It's kind of fun. Um, I should make it a hobby. I should actually charge people for it, actually. I, my brother gave me $20, but I should uh, be charging people. Um, all right. Next up is the graphics card. Let's see what this thing's looking like. That box is a comfy box. Okay, so picture regular cardboard and add velvet kind of over it. That is, oh, I always get goosebumps when I touch uh, cardboard or rub against it. I just hate it. But this is just beautiful. How am I going to open it like this? Okay. Holy shit. That is much bigger than I anticipated. Holy crap. Okie dokie. Well... What on God's green earth did I get? Okay, so this is, this is the thing, the, the manual. What on earth? Can I pick it up? Uh, it's about the same. It will, I mean, it will fit the box for sure. That's on this shoe. Just that is, that's a little bigger than mine for sure. And how do I get it off? Oh, it's. Oh my. That is a beautiful graphics card. That thing. Oh, that's right. Okay, this is the same. Okay, I forgot about this. Yeah, no, I was confused. Um, my last, the last graphics card I got um, there's this like little like piece over it. Um, this, this isn't the back plate. That's fine. But there's this little piece over the, the part that you plug into the motherboard. Oh, you can't see that. There's a little piece right here that you take off. There we go. And now it is motherboard ready. I'm just going to put it back on though, just for the time being, just, just for safety. But that is a gorgeous, gorgeous graphics card. I love looking at that thing. Um, let's see where I'll put that. I'll just move the ram over and i'll just gently put this right there awesome we don't need the box anymore <laughs> all right and last but not least we have the noctua cooler and this thing i don't think the unpacking is necessarily too difficult it should be relatively easy person i promise i work out guys oh my god there we go now this thing though this noctua um, the only problem I have with it is it is so big that um, it's a pain in the ass to put in. But it is for sure 
worth it. Um, so you come with it comes with two fans. Here's the secondary fan, uh, which you I think you knock it um, in the back. But let me just check real quick. Oh boy, it's cool to get this again. And there she is. Looks like an engine for a sports car, which kind of is, you know. Um, and I believe the secondary fan, it, it goes right on uh, the back of this this bracket. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it will face out like, like this. Well, it'll be facing, I guess, in your direction. It'll be looking like this with the uh, secondary fan. Actually, no flipped because it goes this way the secondary fan will be right here and this is the one that actually blows it out um all the uh the hot air outside of the uh computer uh, so that is officially everything unpacked i will uh get this ready to start building and i'll see you in a moment all right, one last thing I forgot to uh, unpack would be uh, the tower. There's not really much that goes um, inside it here. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, this is a newer version of mine. Dang it, he really got some good stuff. I, I did well for my brother here, let me tell you. Oh, that is the tempered glass. Okay, hang on. This is the really good one. Oh, it's just, oh my God, it swings open. I didn't even know that. That is amazing. That looks, that's cool. Oh, that's so much better than having to flip it off. Oh, my brothers. I spoil that. I spoil them. Let me get the scissors. Uh, here's the Fantex accessory box. Uh, I think it's just parts, though, to help it out here. Let's see here. I think I have just the uh, manual. Bunch of zip ties. Um, the technical support thing. Yep, and then just a bunch of screws to help yourself out and your building needs. Uh, it doesn't look like any tools, but that's good. And, oh, is this that back plate? For, um, I think this is the back plate for the power supply that I, that I have yet to use, but um, on my own. But yeah, there's that just goes in the back of the power supply, um, which I don't even think I'll put in just because it's such a pain in the ass. It looks nice, but um, it's hard to get in, in there and clean everything. But that is officially the end of everything. Uh, now on to building. Uh, now this is the part where um, I'll show what I'm doing, but more than likely it's going to be a time lapse. Uh, so forgive me for that. This isn't like a how to build a computer. This is just content for Wednesday. Um, but if you learn something from this or you need some help with anything, uh, just let just let this guy know. Uh, and I'll, I, I'll do my best, but there, I, I'll say it again. There's a lot better tutorials than what you're seeing right here. This is just building a computer. Nothing, nothing else really to it. All right, now to install the fan. This is always the scariest bit because you never know if you're going to do it correct. Um, but if I gently just put it down and then I get my little uh, rotating thing, which actually they did send me. I thought I didn't get one last time, but uh, I'll just take the one I had from last time. I can't currently find the... Uh, the new one it's nearby I, I might be sitting on it for all i know oh there it is all right so there, yeah, there's the new one i'll use the new one for this because you know it's it's new you gotta use the new stuff all right so just gotta make sure i have them both kind of locked in there oh my gosh this is so much better all right i highly recommend doing this um outside of the case Doing it outside the case so far has been an enjoyable experience. 
And then, so that is now installed. I do have a bunch of extra parts because it, it it has the option. So if you don't have a back plate for your uh, processor, you can um, make your own essentially with these parts. Um, but we didn't need to do that. We just had the regular mounting and that was very, very easy. That was so easy to put on. I'm just astounded. All right. Um, next up, I will put in the RAM because why not? All right, and that is officially in. So I don't think, aside from, oh, we do need to plug uh, these in. Um, yeah, just right here. Does it matter which fan? Yeah, this is just the Y cable. So what you do with this is you can combine both of these cables together and it should give you enough, enough area here to move them around to plug them into the motherboard. So there's, oh, there's one, and there's two, and you should then have somewhere to plug them in. I think it would be this port right here. And there we go. We have the basic setup for the motherboard ready to go. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can add on to it. This is, I suggest doing this I've only ever done it inside the case and I wanted to test it out with this, this way doing it on a board It is so much easier like hundred times easier than anything I've done with computers and it's fantastic so far. So uh, stay tuned We will be moving on to installing the motherboard into the desktop All right on to the installation. I gotta move my mic here yeah. Okay, good. All right, I was worried it, was, it would get there right, just so it supports the glass. I don't want to ruin the glass. I'll um, put this underneath it. There. All right. So something I was thinking about while I was doing this here. Um, oh, Jesus. Um, that kind of made me think a little bit. Uh, I don't know what would be good. Maybe right here. Is that in order to put the motherboard in, I have to... Um, Oh, wait. Okay, you guys can't see him probably, but oh, maybe you can. Right where my tip of my finger is right there, this little nub. Um, There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine of those little pins, and that is what you actually rest the motherboard on. So you don't have to unscrew anything in the back. I do not. Yeah, I do not believe you have to do that. Yeah, because those are the things that those are the mounting uh, brackets for the motherboard. So there we go. We can we can do this this way. Um, so I'm going to pick up the motherboard now. And ever so lovingly and gently drop it on here. Just kidding. I'm not going to drop it. Um, it needs to go more. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to make sure at least these ones are in because if they're in, then everything else is. And also, I can just thread it through. Oh, you can take off the whole, the whole uh, glass thing. So that's good. That's not in the way anymore. All right, it looks like we've got all the pins uh, situated. So now I believe, where's the directions? I'll have to be dealing with that here shortly, but... Um, it looks like it fits. Maybe, sh oh, Jesus. I guess I can just pick this up. Uh, it's in there nicely. You can mature uh, over to up, down. Oh, it's so hard to do this. Those little pins, you see the white. Um, oh, I can't angle it properly. There, that thing that's centered right now, that right there is what we're trying to angle it all on. But And so all of them are uh in which is good
Alrighty, and so we are officially done with the motherboard. I think we've got it in there pretty good. All the screws seem to be holding. Uh, next, what we are going to be putting in, I believe we can choose here. I think the power supply might be kind of useful, but I don't want to have to take off the back cover just yet. So next thing will have to be the graphics card. So that'll be kind of cool. I wonder, do I have a good angle on that? Uh, kind of. Actually, the angle I have right now is not too terrible. What if I rotate it? Will that be better or worse? Ah, no, I like. The, I think the angle that I have it right now, you can probably see where I'm installing the uh, graphics card a little bit easier. So, uh, oh, here it is, the Asus. Now it should, God willing, fit right into the slot and it will eliminate my want to cry if it don't, doesn't work. Now, oh, those are just the HDMI and um, DVI plugins, right? I'm just gonna pull one out here real quick. I think that's what these are. Yeah, all right, so that's uh, uh, just, well, you can't really see it from that angle because of the light, but the, the top right here, that that is a uh, display port, which you should be using to uh, display your monitors. Although there is an HDMI, Oh, there it is. This center one right here is the uh, HDMI, but we'll we'll deal with that later. We don't have to do anything with that now. Um, let's see here. We will need to pop out a couple of these side panels here in a moment. I think, actually, dang, this one's so much more compact than mine. I'll be able to make it flush with the, um, the Noctua, and then if my brother would like, he could, if, you know, he really wants to, although I, oh god, although I don't think uh, modern cards support this, he could uh, put another one right down here, but we'll be putting this one right alongside next to the Noctua um, for the moment, but I got to unscrew these top couple panels. Alright, and she goes. Oh my goodness. Does that fit? Uh, it looks like it. It'll fit. All right, so I just got to make sure that I line it up correctly. Uh, it's, it's hard to see if it's in or not. Um, I'll have to use my phone for a flashlight here. Well, it's in. It is in. That's cool. Good stuff. All right, we'll just put these little uh, holding screws back in. It, it's not an angle, is it? No, it, it's it's in there. Yeah, it's in. Good stuff. All right, so the mo the the motherboard is installed. The uh, CPU cooler is installed. The graphics card is now installed and there is all that right there and then some uh next i believe at least of the major components i guess we actually have to get the uh ethernet and internet adapters in so stay tuned for that all right so let's just get that set up here eh, i can just pretty much skip this i can just put actually i'll just cut that out i don't need that that's lame and stupid come on sit sit there where did I put those right here's the Ethernet right yeah, here's the Ethernet and the Internet is right here all right buddy next up we will be putting in the Ethernet and internet uh, adapters and I believe they just go in to these points at the bottom here I'm not sure I guess I can pick up the camera they are those two. Oh, wow, I got, I got that perfectly. Uh, it's those two uh, was PCI ports right there, PCIe's. So that's where we'll be installing them. And I'll try to get my camera back to where it once was.
All right, they are installed. I'm just gonna screw the uh, these little I don't know what you would call these supporting screws, bracket screws, something like I don't know the terminology, but you're just gonna pop those back in like so. Now uh, this is just what they look like. Those little tiny ones. That's they they um, are in these back panels back here. So that's what you use them for. Is just to remove and customize. All right. So with both the Ethernet and uh, uh, internet connected, I think. Oh wait, we still have the power cable. I think for this is the internet here, the internet adapter at least. We're gonna plug it in here. I think it should tell us where it goes. Um, or at least there should be a port for it somewhere here. I think I see it. Now, something that you're gonna notice immediately is that my cable management sucks. And uh, so just bear that in mind. I'm not, I don't really care too much about that. Um, as long as the cables aren't running in the fans, they're not impeding the airflow too much. Uh, don't. Oh, that's an audio one. Oh, does it come over here? Is that, I think it might go over here actually. Maybe I'll just leave that so at the until the end so I know where it's supposed to go because it could be any of these and I, I don't feel like monkeying around with that too much. All right, time to, time to install the uh, power supply. Yeah. Alrighty, so this is where the power supply is gonna head into. Uh, this is where you're gonna have to see me move around a lot because I will not be able to um, do this just sitting here. I have to take off the back paneling and I have to run through cords and stuff, but just, just watch the time lapse or whatever I choose to do here. Useless. All righty, and there is the uh, power supply in. We have pretty much all our main components installed. Um, at least all the parts, actually this is pretty much all the parts, excluding the SSD. Uh, so far, at least from when I started recording, it's only 2 hours and 17 minutes. Uh, making this a, like one of my quickest times for uh, building a computer. So we've got the entire um, back lot there, you can see all the ports and whatnot. It looks like there's an ethernet cable that goes into the motherboard, so that's kind of unique. So maybe we didn't need the one that we put in, but ah, well. It's in there. He's got an 850 gigabyte or a uh, gigabyte. That'd be awesome. Um, but what uh, power supply? So that will be more than enough, I think, for uh, what this will be used for. Um, so on to customizing the interior of the um, computer with, uh, you know, power cables and whatnot. All right, so we do have all the power cables. We have everything that we could possibly want. Uh, or, well, we, we have the power cables right right here and here, but we have everything installed for the most part, except for the SSD. Um, I need to put a disk drive in too. I'm actually gonna have to cannibalize it from my current computer because uh, 
Well, I only have one disk drive. I should have maybe got one with this because a disk drive is nice to have just in case you want to run something. Um, but I don't need it anymore, so maybe I might just transfer it to him. And if if someone else needs it to install, uh, you know, programs or whatever, well, we'll just have to pass it around. These things have covers that you can place over um, those empty spots when you use them. So it's all it's all good. Uh, but we are going to start doing the cable stuff now. This is a part where most of you is watch who are watching this right now. If you're still, oh geez, if you're still interested in this video this is the point where you start to be like no no please don't do that my cable management sucks all right uh and so i i pretty much just as, as long as it sits it fits that's kind of that's kind of my motto with it um i most likely will not be putting that cover that we removed uh uh, for this because um, I tried doing it on my my computer that's over there my personal computer and it completely um, I, I just it didn't work as I would have liked it to um, so but if my brother would like to do it he can do it himself and or well I'll, I'll have to do it for a minute if he has an idea on how to do the cables but that's that's all I will be putting my phone in here just for some additional light because it is kind of uh, difficult to see. Ah. 
All right, so after all that is said and done, which that was pathetic how long that took me to do, but we got it eventually. Um, Next up we need to do is we need to add in the solid state drive, which we felt like I was forgetting about. Uh, where is it? So I don't do this on here. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Here is the solid state drive. Looking like a badass. And there are mounting ports along the side of the computer. So I think we're just going to drop it in like so. And then there's a couple uh, screws in this uh, box here, I think. Oh, this type looks about right. I guess you don't really need to go too deep with these. Um, they are the smallest of the of the uh, screws that I have. I guess there's these ones, which are even tight. No, no, they're the same exact ones. All right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got the tiniest screws. I don't think they necessarily need to. Uh... Oh, I wish they were just. They should be able to go in. Yeah, we just go tight enough. I don't really have the proper screwdriver for this. Should ah, just get in there. And then now in order to run it or to power the SSD, we need one of these power cables, which, oh, well, one of these, I guess will work. And a SATA cable, which a SATA cable, if you don't know, is a cable that connects, um, well, it's, well, let's see, it connects this like systems to the motherboard. Uh, so you're gonna have something going from the motherboard and the power supply into something. So we've got, I think we've got a grand total of three P um, or set, set of cables that came with, um, oh no, there's four, sweet. Four set of cables, that's awesome. And we should, should just be able to Snake one end in here. There we go, connected. And there are points up along the motherboard that you are able to attach these to. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be able to find any while I'm Speaking. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, that's okay. That's where the um, the uh, CPU cord goes. It comes up right around up on top there. I was looking for that for a while. Um, we're looking for a spot to put this. And actually, no, I know where it goes. It goes back here, doesn't it? Right? No, it does not. Oh, where do they go? Oh, Santa Gable. Where do they come from? Well, I think I see one. Can't be certain though. You guys won't be able to see it. No, that's a USB point though, isn't it? Um, it could fit. I don't see how it would. All right, buddy, so I had a mini heart attack, and I'm not sure if I if I did a speed run or a jump cut or whatever, um, but I was having troubles locating where the SATA cable go, and I was looking at the diagram, and I was thinking it was supposed to be right here, but there was no place for it, and I thought the there was like a detachable SATA thing that you would uh, connect up here. Well, I'm stupid, and let me just remove, I'll do this in real time if I can find my screwdriver here. Um, just get my noggin in, in the way. I gotta remove the um, graphics card real quick. Yep, there's one. No, 
how do I disconnect? I forget. What? Well, I think I think it's like in, but you can just like kind of pull it out, can't you? Oh, I need this one too. This one has three inside it. Well, let's see here. Because I can't... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's the lock back there. I just need to... How do I do that? Um... Well, looks like I'm going to have to be very fancy with how I do this now. Because I can see what I need to do. I need to push that button back to release. But now, eh, it's so in there. Eh, up betwixt all the things. Oh, there we go. Got it. I'll release this cable here. It should. God willing. Oh, no, no, God willing. I must not have pushed it back far enough, unfortunately. Come on, just stay. We'll get there. I did not suggest or recommend jamming metal bits into the back of your computer, all right? Just, just fair warning. This is because I'm stupid. Let's see. No, not that. Uh, where's that? I have like a, a thing here. It's like a little screwdriver. There it is. My little box of goodies here. And this might be dull enough. Okay. Oh, got it. All right. Oh boy, okay, and there are, right here, this is where the SATA cables go. That was scary, but now that we have them, we can just take our beautiful little uh, SSD. I might just do this real quick. I'll just shove it through and then I'll have it come out the other end somewhere. Maybe I'll have it come through this way and then out of this port right here. And it looks like, how am I going to do that? Uh, do I have it downward facing or is it? Uh, could have to go a hook. So it's going to have to come around. Hmm. What would be a smart decision on how to do this? I'm going to have to maybe try a, a different route, maybe using the, uh, oh, come on, let you go. Try the different route of having this. I don't think it connects properly. Oh, I cut myself. Nice. Uh, can I just connect right here? There we go. Yep. That connects just beautifully. And then I'll thread this through uh, here. Twist it around so it doesn't like hurt itself. Cool beans. And I'll wind it through here. And I should be able to just come on here. Come on, look at it. There you can. Oh, maybe not. All right, maybe this isn't meant to be like this. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Which is very, very much a possibility. But if I reversed it and had it coming out, like maybe have the cable come out this way, 
That would work, wouldn't it? That would work. Damn it. Okay, hang on. This is a... I guess this is more of a time lapse anyway, so what does it matter? All right, so I know it's been a long time, but now we are putting in the DVD drive, the CD player, DVD drive, disc drive, whatever you want to call it. And it should, if I can, I should be able to lock it. There we go, it's locked in place. Then we just need another SATA cable somewhere. There it is. And we'll just plug that bad boy in. That's a, that's a straight one. We don't want that. We want the ones that are going to be difficult to get. I guess a little tip is to use the SATA cables there. I'll move that. That have an elbow rather than the ones that are straight for uh, components if you can. Just because then you can, um, well, then you, well, it's easier to plug it into the, the SATA port but also because, um, I just want to think of a reason here. I think that's it. So it's just easier, I don't know, just so it's easier to. Okay, so it's not going anywhere, but this is, this is good. We started it. It's working. The lights are all on. We got, um, I, I connected the power, I think, properly. Um, only problem right now is it, oh no, it's all set up now. All right, I'm just going to turn it off for now. I need to connect um, up. There's some couple R, RGB um, light stuff in the back, um, but we will be, we're almost done. Thank God, because it is now currently almost 10 o'clock at night here and i've been working on it now for four hours and 30 minutes so i lost a whole bunch of time trying to figure out those stupid little cables damn it all right it's fine yeah. Alrighty, everybody, and that is a completed computer. I, I believe, just from my last test, everything should work. Oops, and if I plug the power cable in, I do this. Turn on, there's that flash. And the, you can see the red light from the graphics card. Oh, did you see the blue? That's a cool light right there. See here, will the eagle turn on? Yep. There it goes underneath there. Awesome. All right, so that is... Here, I'll... All right, everybody, so that is the completed computer. It looks like it's running. The fans are going... Um... Yep, there's definitely a nice cool breeze coming out from behind there. Uh, I can maybe just show you guys a close-up here. Everything, that's the graphics card, that light up there. Uh, looks like looks like both the memory sticks are, are working. 
for sure. Uh, not sure if you can hear. Well, you probably can't. Might be able to hear on the fan or the microphone. No, you can't even hear it on the microphone. It's so quiet. Um, but no, everything's working. The eagle's shining. I just need to put on the back plate and we'll be good to go. So, um, I know this is a weird video. I don't know how the hell I'm going to edit it because it is currently five hours and two minutes long. Um, but there is a lot of blank spots. So I bet, I bet the total time of me talking is no more than 30 minutes. So that'll make, that'll make that easy. I'll just do some time, time lapse, uh, a couple jump cuts, you know, make it all fun and stuff. Um, but that is all I've got. Now, one issue I have right now is that the LED light or the power is not working. There's supposed to be this power button supposed to turn like white, but I don't, I don't know. I don't have it plugged in somewhere. So I will have to um, figure that one out. But in the meantime, everything works as it should. Nothing blew up and I am exhausted. So um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Uh, this isn't what I normally do. I mostly do strategy games and stuff, but, uh, you know, comment something down below about if you learned something today. You know, I didn't really explain my process really too much, except for when I was doing the motherboard. Um, this kind of got away from me. It got a lot longer than I thought it would be. Most of the time was just me stalling, trying to figure out. I was trying to match up with my computer. I actually had to open up my, my personal one over here. This is this is mine. I had to open it up a couple times and this, of course you can see it right now, it's open. Um, so I could actually run it. Now something that's different between my computer and um, the, the this, this one for my brother is that this one has fans all over the place. Um, it has two up top, one in the back, uh, and well, I guess there's two in the front. Yeah, I put two in the front. Um, well, one in the front. And this one does not. This one only has fans going um, this way. And so um, uh, my brother will have to get some more fans for it. But I believe for his purposes, uh, that should be enough. But all right, I'm done officially. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all in another video. And I am going to set this puppy up. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.